Hi everybody, how you doing? For those of you that don't know me or have not met me before, my name is Reverend Sarah and I'm from St Philip's Church. And I've lit a candle as we start this assembly together. And I don't know about you, but I think this lockdown has been a bit more tricky than the last one. You might be okay about it, you might be worried about it. Sometimes both, sometimes in the same day. So let's just pause and think about some things for a moment as we come to our assembly. And this assembly is about bananas. I bet you didn't see that coming. When we say somebody's going bananas, we often say if somebody's been silly or a dog running around in circles in the park. But I've got some serious points to make about bananas, but hopefully in a fun way. So what can we learn from a bunch of bananas? Well, I don't know about you, I think they're quite bright and cheerful. They're yellow, a happy and positive colour. They're the shape of a smile. Do you like my smile? How do you feel when someone smiles at you? I don't know about you, but when somebody smiles at me, I find it quite difficult just not to smile back. And actually, sometimes, though, we can feel a bit sad. It's not my moustache, it's the banana looking sad. And I think this year we may have had times where we've smiled and times where we've also felt really sad. And I don't know about you, but when I'm feeling a bit like this, rather than like this, just having some time to myself can help sometimes. Sometimes it can be chatting to somebody and having a listening ear. And sometimes just somebody smiling at me just brings a little bit of happiness to my day. And I don't know whether in school you've got a, um, friends are there or friends are at home and you may be in school or you might be at home. But how do we feel when somebody just gives us a little smile or is that listening ear? And we could maybe bring a smile to somebody else's face who's feeling like this and they may carry on feeling like this. But a little smile just lets them know that you're thinking of them and may just bring a little bit of niceness to a not very nice situation or day. We never know what's going on inside somebody. On the outside, somebody might look like they're OK. They might look nice and happy when you see them, but they might, in fact, be feeling sad. But one of the things I've learned about bananas, I mean, we all know if you've seen pictures of bananas growing, that they grow in bunches. And they're in bunches that are divided into clusters. And apparently those clusters are called hands. And it reminded me of school a little bit. Everyone learns together, like the bananas all grow on the tree. But each class is like a hand or a little bunch where people belong. And as a class, you can be a helpful bunch, whether you're together or whether you're separated. Hanging together, supporting one another in any way that you can. One of the other things we find about bananas is they are filled with energy. About half an hour ago, I had my snack for lunchtime or late morning and I had a banana. Some of the energy they give us is physical. I'm going to do some exercise a bit later and it will give me some energy I need for my exercise. And we all need energy. We need energy from the food that we have, from a good night's sleep, from resting. But also some of the energy that we have is not seen. Some might call it spiritual, which as a Christian, I believe, comes from a God who loves us. And you might believe that or you might believe something different or you might not believe at all. And that's OK. So hopefully you will see that I'm not being bananas or silly but we have seen that we can learn something from the little banana about maybe just giving somebody a smile and it might encourage them, it might help their day. But also that sometimes when we have the smile on the outside doesn't always mean that we're smiling on the inside. And actually when somebody isn't smiling on the inside, having someone to talk to, to be kind to them, to listen to them, to give them a bit of space when they need some space, can help them in their day. 
We've also learned from the bananas that we grow together in our different bunches. We are all different. If I look at these bananas, they look a bit the same. They're all bananas. We're all people. But they're all slightly different. All a very slightly different shape. Slightly different marks on them. And we grow together. And that's one of the hard things at the moment, isn't it? If we're at home or we're missing our friends, we're not with them. And I think it's OK to feel a little bit sad about that. We also need energy in life like the bananas give us. Both in what we feel, what we feel is going on inside of us and to keep our bodies healthy. Now, I'm going to finish this assembly with a moment of quiet and a few things for you to think about. And you can sit quietly and you can close your eyes if that helps. So let's just stop for a minute. Think of your bunch of friends and be thankful. Think of how you feel when someone is kind or listens to you. And think of how you can be kind to another, especially those in your bunch or class. Now I'm going to say a very short prayer. You may join in by just thinking about the words. You may want to say a quiet Amen at the end, which means I agree. Or simply listen. And you don't have to join in the prayer. It is completely your choice. Let's pray. God, thank you for people that make us smile, even when things are difficult. Would you help us to be kind and to listen to others, especially those in our bunch of friends, in our class, in our school, in our family? And God, I pray that you would bless this school community, bless every single person, every member in it, today and always. Amen. Now, all that's left for me to say before I go is have a top banana of a day. See you later. Goodbye.